often hear this about Rwanda. They tell me that Rwanda is a model for the rest of Africa, that it's the Switzerland of Africa, that the streets are clean. The reality is that it's a dictatorship. It's a brutal dictatorship that is not afraid to kidnap people across international borders, to go after daughters who are advocating for their father with spyware technology, to intimidate people wherever they are. Even in Rwanda, there is no freedom of expression. There is no political uh, space, uh, freedom to participate in the political space. And what I'd like to say as an example, imagine you walk into a house where everything is clean and the owner of the house offers you a cup of tea. And you look around and you think it's really clean. But there is a closed door in that house. And you see blood going underneath the door. You hear screams behind the door. But you keep drinking your tea and you say, it's clean. That's what's happening in Rwanda. People are pretending not to know the sufferings of our people. And that's why we have to continue to speak up on behalf of everyone who's been silenced and victimized by the regime and not pretend that because it's a clean country that it's, everything is perfect. It's not. And we have to continue to expose this injustice.